this don't happen to everybody, but it happened to me, okay? I wish somebody would have told me. Some tried, but I ain't listen. Right after high school, I basically been with the same woman since high school. Me and my wife, we've been happily married. Two years after high school, we got married, basically. And that old saying, fat and happy, man, that's real, okay? And then don't, uh, don't compound it with a job where you're not actually physically active. Because when I was a little bit younger, before I turned 21, I've been driving trucks since I was 21. But before I did that, never gained any weight. I always had a physical job, working on the dock, something like that, working in, you know, where you're actually getting around, moving, things of that nature. <clears throat> now, throughout the years, I've always worked out. Always been strong. I ain't never had that problem. But in general, the saying fat and happy, because my wife cooks very well. It's real, man. And uh, over the 10 years, I say I've gained, on average, about 10 pounds a year. And lost it, and it came back, and I'm back to dieting and exercising on a normal basis. But, it's real what they say. That whole marriage fat and happy thing, you might have seen that meme with the dog. It's like the single dog's all buff. The married dogs are fat and the divorced dogs about to die. He real skinny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's real, man. I'm telling you, you gotta be careful. If, if you don't hear from nobody, you heard it from me. When you get into a relationship, and it's gonna be a long-term relationship, especially marriage, or even once you get right out of high school or college, be on the lookout for your weight because it comes up out of nowhere. If you're not the type of person who works out all the time, you just love running, you know, uh, you get up at five o'clock in the morning and go to the gym, unless you're one of those type of people who creep up on you. But like I said, I drive trucks. So I'm sitting down 10, 14 hours a day. I might eat in my truck twice a day, come home, it'll be late. Oh, dinner's ready. It's 10.30. I'm going to sleep at 12. So now I'm eating right before I go to bed. And it's this vicious cycle. And it just keeps happening and it keeps happening. So be on the lookout for that. Right after high school, one of the things you always conscious of, especially if you was always in shape, I was in good shape in high school. Yeah. If you're not conscious of it, everybody I know. Yeah, I look at them 10 years later, it's like, wow, you gained weight. Okay, yeah, yeah. A lot of them in the same boat. Now, like I said, it don't happen to everybody. I got a couple people. If they didn't work out on a regular basis, like my, my one buddy, fantastic shape. But that's what he makes a living from. So he's got to work out like that. Oh man, I walk around like this. I'm like, wow, you walk around that heavy, huh? Yeah, when I'm not fighting, when I'm not doing this, blah, blah, blah. That's how much I weigh. I'm telling you, your body naturally gets bigger than from when you was in there anyway because you're not finished growing. But all of the girls, most damn near all of the guys, way bigger. So if you young and you looking at this, always, and this is what I teach my kids, because my kids can't eat the way I ate when I was growing up. We was growing up, it was fast food all the time, uh, sweets all of the time. Hey, 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 you know, real easy meals. There you go. That's what you put in the microwave. There you go. My kids don't eat like that. My kids eat meals. And all of my kids in magnificent shape. And uh, I'm going to make sure that they keep that in mind when they get older. Always pay attention to that figure. Don't never not pay attention to it because it'll get away from you before you know it. And it's a vicious cycle. Father, I confess